hey guys duchess braids here and welcome back to my channel i have to tell you guys i've never been more excited about some crochet hair and i'm gonna tell you guys why so janet collections introduced the nala Tress teeny which is their 3x teeny bounce curls and they sent me eight packs of their color 1b and these curls are dear to me because I've been searching for them for such a long time and have not been able to find them in stores, but I'm so happy that they introduced them now. They're super full and just really, really pretty. And I love that it's eight inches long, so it's great for the kid's length. And I know people are iffy about putting like extensions in kids hair but these are super kid friendly and they can be styled in many different ways so for me um you can pull the curls apart and have your child wear it like that when you crochet it in or you can keep it curly i'm gonna show you guys how i style this hair to make it super pretty super full and i have a lot of lessons in this video so you might want to stick around for it so a lot of things that i've learned along the way will be talked about in this video on how to make it look super natural so here is my niece kylie so i'm doing her hair today and she has super full beautiful hair i already know what you guys are gonna say she doesn't need anything in her hair i know however like there's moms out there that needs these styles so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i get it done so the plan for this style is to make it super natural as i can as far as how it looks so it's crochet so i'm going to do a half up half down with the back half crocheted and the top half stitch braids so i'm putting these plaits in the back of her head because because i've learned along the way that um when you do individual plaits and then you crochet the braids within them um they look a little bit more natural i won't be doing this for the entire style like i said i have some lessons in here and some tricks that i do to make it look natural so i put these four braids in the back because i want if she had to lift it up in a ponytail or to lift it up to get out the way it still looked like individual twist and bounce curls in her hair so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do these four plaits then i'm going to part along um her hairline or from ear to ear i'm gonna go ahead and cut her head in half because i'm doing a half up half down so i want to go from the tip of her right ear to the tip of her left ear and i know it looks a little rough because the video is sped up times four so yes it looks like i'm just turning spinning her head all over the place but i promise you i'm very gentle and i'm very kind when i'm doing kids hair so i'm going ahead and i'm cleaning up the part right now i've already uh split her head in from ear to ear and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to make another part under that because i'm going to make a, a row of individual plaits at the top as well so a row at the bottom of individual plaits and then a row at the top of individual plaits and then in the middle i'm going to create a beehive So when you're making these plaits, you do want to make sure you're making them. If you're doing this for another curl or another crochet, you do want to make sure these the spaces of these individual are equivalent to the size of your crochet that you're going to be using. So for me, um, I did make sure that I put enough space in between this hair and so that when it falls, it does look more natural. So I'm gonna go ahead now and do start the beehive. And what I'm doing here is seeing how it would look if one, the plait from the bottom goes up, if, it, if I should braid it into that um, curve that I'm going around or leave it out. And I did decide to leave it out. And as I'm braiding around, you guys, you're going to notice that I did leave some of the plaits out. And that is because I do not want that first braid that goes around in a circle to be too 
large so i'm going to leave some of the braids out because if i added all of them then it would make that braid super big and i didn't want that so instead i went ahead and crocheted them under so going under with them um, going under that braid with them allows it to look more natural as well as the crochets fall so i went ahead and put that through and i did for the second go around of the beehive i did put all the braids in it and you will see that soon So a lesson about the beehive is that whenever I get to close to the center of the beehive, I don't continue to go in a swirl. Um, that's because I've learned along the way, a swirl like that in the middle, I don't continue to do that because I've learned along the way that when I do that, all of the hair bunches up in the center and it gives the clients a headache. So I always turn that swirl into like a S. So if you look in the center, you see that I stopped making it go around in a swirl and I started to S, S the braid in the middle. And that's so that the tension doesn't bunch up in the middle of their head and give them a headache. So that's one lesson that I've learned. So I always cut it short and go in an S instead of finishing up as a beehive. So now um, what I want to do, and you guys do not have to do this. This is just so that it looks natural. I broke up the bounce curl in two and I crocheted it through the braid. And this is so that it looks more natural. And then I'm going to go ahead and twist it back. It is that easy, you guys. So I'm not going to do this for every single cro um, crochet that I do, just the ones that have the plaits and it did add some extra length to it so be mindful of that too that when you do untangle it and retwist it it does add like an extra inch to it so i had to be mindful of that but i did that for for all the ones that had like the the boxes i went ahead and um pull them apart but for the beehive i just went ahead and did a normal crochet and also what i've learned along the way is when you point the crochet needle going down it does look a little more natural than if it went up like that so as you can see when i'm done with this one it kind of sticks out a little differently and i'm going through it and i'm still trying to fill the knots um, not the knots. I'm trying to fill the spaces and gaps that I see as I'm going. So another lesson for the, these bounces that you don't need too much. But since this was my first time using these, I just kind of wanted to fill spaces. But along the way, I learned like, okay, I need to slow down or I need to put some spaces between them. So I might like skip a braid or so so that it doesn't look too full it's so easy to get carried away with crochet and it gets super full so with the beehive going through her head it was easy to skip a braid so at this point i didn't want to continue to put um hair along the beehive so i went ahead and filled out the boxes going along from ear to ear first and then when that falls, I can see the gaps that are left and I'll just fill the gaps instead of just going along and just putting hair wherever and making it super full and too full for her head. I wanted to just see where those fall and then I'll just place crochet hair between the gaps where they where it's showing the braids. So now that I've completed that section, I'm going to go ahead and do her knot or her stitch braids. And even if I'm doing five braids, four braids, I'm doing five braids for the top. However, I always base it off a middle part. You get a straight middle part and you go about doing your braids based off the middle part. This is going to allow you to have more proportional braids and to plan out your style properly. So a lesson I've also learned along the way is when you have a, a big stitch braid of this size, I always part down the middle and put some jam in, down the middle. So
the stitch braids i went ahead and put her um her ends into a bun and originally i did want to do um the hair falling however that would have called for too many of the crochet and it started to look unnatural so i put a few of the crochet in there and then i just went ahead and put it into a bun at the top so um i split them as well to do this part and then i went ahead and retwisted them and this is the final look she absolutely loved her hair and i did tell her mom if she felt like it was too many curls at the back that she can start at the bottom row um in the middle and just take some out and it will like lessen the amount of curls however her mom really loved them and so do i so again guys this is the nala tress teeny bounce this is their bounce curl in color 1b and i only used four packs for this style and it looks absolutely amazing i love these curls and i can't wait to use them again with my daughter and i'll see you guys next time